सो टुडे द टॉपिक इज हेलमोल्स इलेक्ट्रिकल डबल लेयर और इलेक्ट्रिकल डबल लेयर इन कोलॉइडल सॉल्यूशन नो सपोज वी हैव अ कोलॉइडल सॉल्यूशन ओवर हियर दिस आर पार्टिकल्स ऑफ डिस्पर्सन मीडियम एंड दिस आर कोलॉइडल पार्टिकल्स डिस्पर्स्ड इन इट डिस्पर्स्ड फेज नाउ सपोज आई एम ड्रॉइंग अ लार्जर कोलॉइडल पार्टिकल फॉर कन्वीनियंस ऑफ यू सपोज दिस इज अ कोलॉइडल पार्टिकल सो इन अ in any colloidal solution all the colloidal particles always carry some charge either it carries positive charge or negative charge they are always charged now this charge in in this case we may take it to be positively charged suppose it has adsorbed positive charged charges on its surface so this colloidal particle is now positively charged a layer of positive charges formed on its top surface outer surface these ch charged particles are adsorbed at the surface strongly so they are fixed on the surface now this positively charged colloidal particles are surrounded by negatively charged particles present in the solution colloidal solution also carries some negative charges also and these negative charges forms a layer around this positively charged colloidal particles now this positively charged layer present on the colloid it could be negatively in some colloidal solution or in case of colloidal particles this layer may be negatively charged so in this example we have taken it to be positively charged now this layer which is present on the colloidal particle due to adsorption is fixed it cannot move it cannot change so this layer is known as fixed layer now this negatively charged layer is there and this two layers are called electrical double layer or helmholtz electrical double layer this two layers one is positively charged layer and adjacent layer of negatively charged particles this two layers together are known as helmholtz electrical double layer or electrical double layer in colloidal solution now this negatively charged layer is in the solution and these particles are coming from the solution so they are regularly being replaced this layer is not fixed it can move it can change so this layer is known as diffused layer so there are two layers one is fixed and that is present on the colloidal particles and one is in the solution just around it and the separation is very less very small two layers are separated by very small distance now when the uh, we know when there is a separation of charge there is always exists some potential so there is a potential difference between this positively positively charged layer of the colloidal particle and this negatively charged layer and this potential between these two layers is known as zeta potential zeta potential or electrokinetic potential so the potential difference between these two layers is known as zeta potential or electrokinetic potential and this is diffuse layer which can change which can move or which can be replaced by other negatively charged ions and this positive layer is fixed this 
charged particles are adsorbed strongly at the surface so they cannot change they cannot move so they are known as fixed layer so this is these two layers together are known as helmholtz electrical double layer or electrical double layer and this potential difference between these two layers fixed layer and diffuse layer is known as zeta potential or electrokinetic potential thank you very much